Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play an SMW Central Production. I'm Bobblezack once again. I thought before we go on to play uh, World 9, I thought I would show you this. Um, after you beat so far in World 8, there's so many levels that the levels, your files like screen actually goes into hex. So yes, we have beat a lot of levels. We've actually... I'm not sure you can call it hex, but it goes it goes past what we're used to because it can't take that. It can only it have two numbers on screen. So, uh, let's continue on. Okay, guys, it took me a while to get here, but um, I think you get here from world six, seven, or eight. So anyway, I'm going to be going backwards from the third level back to the first one because they open up backwards. I know it's a weird choice, so you pretty much you have to play the game right, according to them. So, blue concrete blocks can be pa passed by enemies, but not Mario. Red concrete blocks drain your time more quickly. That's right. It's all about time management. So, let's begin. Come on, Mario. Okay. Mario, stop grabbing the vine. Thank you. Okay, so... Let's begin. Okay. It has been a while since I've done this. I've actually run through it several times. Okay. So why am I doing it this way? Okay, let's try it this way. Okay, try to stay off as best I can. Don't let yourself get too carried away on this one. I mean, you kind of sort of have plenty of time, but you can't uh, go, well, I have plenty of time, I don't need to worry about it. Because then you will definitely be running out of time. So. Whoa. Oh, there's a spring down there. I never noticed that before. So, uh, anyway, we're ignoring it. Out of the uh, few levels that actually use the time gimmick, in my opinion, this is probably the best. Um... Just because, depending on how skillful, skillful you are, you can do it um, without too much fear of running out of time. Oh yeah. Okay, I gotta go in here. So, going in under here. Grabbing this. Um, that block pretty much set... says that um, if you can if you think you can see if you can go back through and beat it within a certain time period um, I'm not gonna do that I mean it's easy enough to beat it in this time period but the time period they gave it to you it's much more difficult um, if you guys are interested though let me know and maybe after the project I'll give an extra video of giving this another go going through this another time and say, they say there's something special uh, there's something for you if you beat it. I don't know what it is. I haven't been able to do it so far. Um, but if you guys are interested, I might give it a shot. Just if you are, if you're interested, message me. And let me message me and let me know. So anyway, that's probably one of the more challenging levels of this, of this uh, of the sewers. The sewers really aren't that bad. 
So, I mean... Don't worry about it. Uh, the reason, like I said, I'm going backwards is because... Um, there's something we need to do the last sewer level. And it is in World 1, which is where that first sewer level is. And since you have to work your way backwards, you know, in order to unlock the path, uh, it'd be kind of tedious for me, recording-wise. So, partially I'm lazy, but partially it's going to work out in the end because it's going to be a smooth recording. What the crap? Okay, let's see what's in here. Ah, yes, P balloon. Come on. I forgot that there was a P balloon segment in here. It's not as bad as the one in World 8. But, you know, most people are like, oh, P balloons, no! So, anyway. Yeah, it's kind of su sucky that you have to uh, go through regularly in order to unlock uh, a shortcut at all, because these will actually provide shortcuts to worlds. And, you know, so you can't, like, cheat at... I'm not going to say cheat out the game, like, it is a cheat. But, you know, you can't go from, let's say, World 1 or 2 to World 8 if you know what you're doing. You are forced to go um, chronologically. There's really not much shortcutting in this level, in this game. Okay, have we collected enough? Hey, yes we did. Um, not too difficult to collect enough though. They're kind of handing it to you at this point. And if I just stop dying like an idiot, this is not hard. Come here. Thank you. Doink. Come on. Oh, you're just going to be like that now, are you? So, this project is drawn to close. It's just the sewers and World 10, and we are done. Barring any extra videos. Yeah, I know, you guys would probably those first extra videos, you're going, what was that for? I just wanted, since I, everything else had been doing of the cutscenes like that, I wanted to get the earlier cutscenes in. Um, but there may be some more extra videos on the way. Just depends how it goes. Mario, stop it. Sparkies. You know what? I'll take this. Are not jerk. So now we're all the way back to the first sewer level, which you can access from World One. Deep dark drains. It's a World One level, so it's actually not very hard. Uh, do I have anything in here? Yep. This could be helpful. All you have to do is go down and not be stupid. Trust the coins. The coins are your friends. Don't trust the fishies. The fishies are not. So, it's been a while. Um, update on the situation. Uh, projects may be delayed. Uh, if you want to know what's going on with my computer, it will not open uh, any of the stuff on my portable hard drive. It actually is refusing to acknowledge my portable hard drive right now. It says, oh, it's there, but we're just not going to open anything up. I don't know what the deal is. I mean, I take it to any other computer, and that computer has no problem looking at the files on the portable hard drive. Um, I thought maybe it might be Windows 7, but Windows 7 might be doing some of the same stuff with it right now. I... To tell you the truth, guys, I haven't a glue. Um, I haven't delved that deep into Windows 7. You know, I've upgraded from Vista, but I haven't delved too deep into Windows 7 on my computer to see if, you know, the same problems exist. And if the same problems exist, 
this might very well be a problem with my computer in general. And if that's the case, I may need to get a new computer. I don't know what the deal is. I'm searching out until then, like I said in my uh, announcement, there will be delays on uh, all the stuff I'm capturing with my with my Dazzle right now. What the crap? Oh, obviously, unless you've gone through the path yourself, you cannot go up this path, so be right back. Okay, we're back at Toe Town, because I need to grab something here real quick. I have no idea why I just safe stayed there. Anyway, we need to buy ourselves, yep, the spacesuit. It's in the very last one. Yep, 3,000. If you're using an earlier version, um, it'll take 300. Go figure. Um, spacesuit has absolutely nothing. It allows you to access the very last uh, sewer level. You don't have it, you can't access it. Um, in case you guys are wondering, since uh, Bowser's Castle, I have upgraded my version of the game. <sighs> Again, guys, one second. Stupid shortcut. Anyway, back. Okay, honestly, if you develop a short shortcut, make sure you can use it when you get down there, and st I am not kidding. This is stupid. You cannot use any of those pipes unless you've gone there from the world, which means when you unlock the, sh the, uh, the ability for uh, a pipe from... Uh, oh, crap. Oh, crapola. Oh, holy crap. Anyway, like I'm saying, when you unlock the ability to... Um, Use a pipe. Okay. In the next area, your patience will be tested. The switch's timing can only be understood by listening to the area. So I may be a little quiet here. I'll let you know what's going on. Ah, uh, oh yeah. Let me throw it. One second, guys. I am going to change things up a little bit. Come on. What I'm undo doing right now is I'm actually unplugging... I was using my computer speakers. It turned down a little bit, so I could hear the music a little bit. But not loud enough, and I am going to need to be listening to the speaker. So... I am plugging in my headset and speakers, yeah, you think, no duh. Anyway. The main reason... ...is I need to listen to cues. The cues are, if you hear that fireball sound, after it sounds, a few seconds later... ...the switches will switch, so be ready to jump. You suck, game. Okay, backing up. I knew there was a reason I... grabbed these. Come on. So this one is new music is you have to pay attention. Anyway. Protect these blocks. Because you are going to... Crap. Also run. Because you're going to need these. Ha! Ah.
Okay. I have an idea. Come on. Over here, stupid. Why didn't I think of that before? Jump. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm focusing on these because I because the fireball sound gives you a clue when they're about to switch. So, definitely close listening is required. Come on. Okay, that was close. Anyway, like I'm like I was saying, it's a dumb idea to you know we unlock these paths as we go through the worlds. Okay, at least let's be able to use those pipes later on instead of having to actually go in there and unlock the path. That is a dumb idea. The whole purpose for these pipes is you kind of want a shortcut, and it's nice to be able to use these shortcuts. And the fact that they aren't letting you use these shortcuts is kind of dumb. So that's my thoughts on it. Come on. Come on. Doink. Come on. Doink. Come on. Okay. Yes, I know, game. Man. Why'd I have to go and lose that extra hit? Sure, use it right now. I mean, I think we're getting to the end here. Yep, see there? Whew. Oh boy, a lot to cut out. Anyway, like I was saying, the reason why I took 3,000 is I have upgraded to version 1.5. Um, so this is a newer version than I have been playing through the first eight worlds. Anyway, sorry, I wanted to get that done so I didn't talk. Next time, we will be going into world 10, the space world. This is going to be it, guys. So until then... I am Bobozak, signing out.